I'm Dr. Roger and today we're looking at differential equations, in particular systems of first order linear ordinary differential equations with constant coefficients. And this system has complex eigenvalues. So we'll look at the trajectories in the phase plane for con complex eigenvalues. To find the eigenvalues, set determinant of a minus lambda times identity equals zero. So that's four, negative five, five, negative two, minus lambda times one, zero, zero, one, equals four minus lambda, negative five, five, negative two minus lambda. And we want the determinant, which is the product AD minus BC, the product of the main diagonal minus the product of the off diagonal. So that'd be lambda squared, minus 4 lambda plus 2 lambda is minus 2 lambda, and then minus 8 and minus negative 25 is plus 25, is lambda squared minus 2 lambda plus 17 equals 0. Solving that with the quadratic formula, because it obviously doesn't factor well, lambda equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4 for AC all over 2A, where A equals 1, B equals negative 2, C equals 17, lambda equals minus negative 2 is positive 2, plus or minus root 4 minus 68 is negative 64 over 2, that is 1 plus or minus 8I over 2 is 4I. Taking lambda 1, equals 1 plus 4i. We can find our eigenvalues by solving a uppercase a minus lambda i times eigenvector equals the zero vector. I'm sorry, we're finding eigenvectors, not eigenvalues. This is the eigenvalue. So that gives us 4 minus 1 is 3, and then minus 4i, and negative 5, 5, and negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3, and minus 4i, times c1, c2, equals the 0 vector. These, it turns out, give you the same result. One is a multiple of the other, so I have 3 minus 4i, c1 minus 5, c2 equals 0. If I choose, swap the coefficients and flip the sign on 1, c1 equals 5, c2 equals 3 minus 4i, then 3 minus 4i times 5, plus negative 5 times 3 minus 4i will give us 0. So that does give us an eigenvector, a complex eigenvector, that works. 5 and 3 minus 4i. Our general, our solution is x, the solution, equals e to the lambda t times the corresponding eigenvector. So in this case, that's x equals e to the 1 plus 4i t times 5 pre minus 4i. Using Euler's formula, that's x equals e to the 1t times e to the 4i t times 5 and 3 minus 4i, which is e to the t. e to the 4i t is cosine 4t plus i sine 4t. And we're multiplying that by the vector 5 and 3 minus 4i. So my sol solution is e to the t 
where that's e to the 1 t, where 1 is the real part of my eigenvalue. And then I'm going to distribute this into the vector 5 cosine 4 t plus i times 5 sine 4 t and 3 cosine 4 t minus 4i cosine 4t plus 3i sine 4t minus 4i squared, where i squared is negative 1, would be plus 4 sine 4t. I'm going to separate that into the real and imaginary parts. So x equals e to the t times the real part is 5 cosine 4t and then 3 cosine 4t plus 4 sine 4t. And then the imaginary part e to the t times 5 sine 4t and negative 4 cosine 4t plus 3 sine 4t. And theory tells us if you have a real valued system of equations where all coefficients are real constants or polynomials with real coefficients, that has a complex solution, then the real part of the solution is also a solution, and the complex part of the solution is a solution. So x1 equals just the real part, e to the t, 5 cosine 4t, and 3 cosine 4t plus 4 sine 4t is a solution. And x2 equals e to the t, the imaginary part but without the i, 5 sine 4t and negative 4 cosine 4t plus 3 sine 4t is also a solution. Your general solution is x equals c1 x1 plus c2 x2. Since this is a linear system, any linear combination of solutions is also a solution. So I have c1 e to the t times the vector 5 cosine 4t, 3 cosine 4t plus 4 sine 4t, and then plus c2 e to the t times the vector 5 sine 4t, negative 4 cosine 4t plus 3 sine 4t. And this is the general solution for this linear system. If we want to graph trajectories in the phase plane, that takes some thought. I can graph, I can make a table of values using the unit circle values that I know. But I also know that this is basically going to be a circle or an ellipse. This one is an ellipse. And then it's multiplied by an exponential that increases. So we are going to spiral outward. In addition to that, I can tell you in the x1, x2 plane, besides spiraling out, at t equals 0, just this component is 0 on the x1 axis and negative 4 
on the x2 axis, so I'm starting out down here if c1 is 0 and c2 is positive. If t is slightly positive, that was t equals 0 there, at t slightly positive, this x1 component will become positive, so I'm moving from the negative x2 axis into quadrant 4. My solutions spiral outward because the real part of the eigenvalue is positive, and then they're going to spiral counterclockwise. So as a rough notion, solutions will do something like this. and linear combinations will give you a rotation of that. In fact, it's probably more of an ellipse where I've drawn a circular spiral, but at least qualitatively we now understand the behavior. We could go get a more accurate sketch by making a table of values for increments of t that put us on the unit circle, or by using graphing technology to get an accurate picture. It's important though to know that with complex conjugate eigenvalues, you only need one eigenvector because that gives you a complex solution and that complex solution gives you two linearly independent real solutions and since this is a system of two first order linear equations there are only two linearly independent solutions so all solutions are a linear combination of these two solutions. Come back soon for my next video with math there's always more.